Hey there, I'm Dr. Opperman from Simplicity Health Direct Primary Care. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about getting the flu shot, when to get the flu shot, can you get a flu shot with the COVID vaccine, with a COVID booster, and so I just wanted to quickly take a couple minutes to talk to you guys about this upcoming flu season. So as many of you know, um, last year we didn't really have much of a flu season, and there's variable um, arguments for why or why not we didn't have one. Some people will say, well, the schools closed down and kids are a giant vector for spreading influenza and therefore we didn't have a lot of flu. Some people say, well, it was the masking and the distancing and the excessive hand washing and antibacterial gels and things like that. Um, and that prevented us having a major flu season. Um, some people, um, and probably one of my favorite uh, arguments is the viral interference argument. So both COVID and flu infect the upper respiratory epithelium or the upper respiratory tract. And maybe the two viruses, um, because they are fairly similar in their structure, maybe they're competing for resources against each other. And so you have one virus that's predominant and the other one that, that may not be. Um, so now here we are, uh, kind of late September, and our COVID Delta variant uh, is pretty uh, prevalent in the community and is there's a lot of spread of the Delta variant of COVID. And we again are not seeing a lot of flu, um, similar to last year. We get our flu data um, based on what happens in the Southern Hemisphere. So their flu season actually is our summertime and our flu season is their summertime and vice versa. So um, we look at the Southern Hemisphere and see you know, what flu variants are out there and that's what we put into our flu vaccine and how prevalent is flu. And actually the Southern Hemisphere has had a decreased flu season again for two years in a row. Um, so maybe there is something with COVID and viral interference and maybe going forward, Hopefully we could hope maybe there'll be less flu. Um, we don't know what's gonna happen. I guess the big fear is that, um, you know, we didn't have it last year, thankfully, but could you get flu and COVID at the same time, uh, a so-called twindemic? Um, I don't know what the answer is to that, but I could imagine if you got COVID and flu at the same time, you'd get pretty sick. Um, but what we see is a lot of times viruses tend not to uh, co-infect. Um, so that is actually fair, more rare to have a co-infected virus than just the, the random odds of getting a virus in general. So it looks like maybe there is some degree of viral interference. So what are we left with? Um, is there gonna be a flu season? Is there not? I have no idea. Um, but what I would suspect is that it will at least be late later on if we do have a flu season. So maybe I could see a scenario where the Delta variant uh, decreases in our community and that opens up the door for a new virus to kind of take root. And so maybe we have the Delta variant with us through September, October, and then flu season really starts to ramp up later. So that would basically mean that maybe our flu season would start in December and run through March or something like that if we were gonna have a flu season. Some folks say that maybe we're gonna have a worse flu season this year than we did last year because we didn't have exposure to flu last year and so maybe, the, maybe we'll have less immunity uh, going forward. It's just really hard to know what's gonna happen with this flu season, but I'm getting a lot of questions about when should I get my flu shot, should I get my flu shot, what, what's going on with that? I guess my answer is um, I typically look for myself and for my patients at the CDC maps. So the CDC puts out hot maps of when flu is really bursting with activity. And I kind of look at either Ohio or surrounding states and see when they kind of change from green to yellow to red to purple. Um, and so when we start getting surrounding states that are yellow or red, um, or Ohio becomes yellow or red, that's kind of the first indication when I say, okay, it's time to go get a flu shot. Um, they update these uh, maps on a weekly basis. So the reason maybe not to get a flu shot right now immediately is flu vaccine, like other vaccines, um, is not terribly like 100% effective. It's actually 60% effective even in its best years at preventing flu. Um, but again, it's the same kind of thing as in COVID is, if you get the flu vaccine, it, it does help prevent severe illness. So what we've seen year after year after year is if you've gotten the flu vaccine, you're less likely to die of flu, even though it may not stop you from getting flu in general. Um, so when to get the flu vaccine, I think what, what we see is waning immunity of the flu vaccine about 10% per month. Um, so every 30 days it wanes about 10%. So if you got the flu vaccine now in September, and don't worry, if you got the flu vaccine already, um, it, it's not the end of the world. It, it's still a good thing. I'm glad you got it. 
Um, but if you have not yet gotten it, I might argue to wait until our flu maps change because there's a 10% waning immunity per month. So if you got it already in September and October, you can expect 10% less, November 10% less, December 10% less. The problem becomes what if COVID kind of dies out a little bit and flu really starts ramping up when there's not a, a competing respiratory virus, then maybe we have a late flu season, February or March, where flu is really picking up and that immunity that you got from the flu shot in September may, may be starting to really wane away. So I think my recommendation is if you're planning to get a flu shot, and I do recommend flu shots, I'll get one myself, um, but for me personally, I'll be waiting probably until at least October and maybe even later, um, depending on what the CDC flu maps look like. You can check them out on the CDC website, just Google CDC flu maps, and uh, you can kind of see the green, yellow, and red maps, and they update it on a weekly basis. And so I really, again, once I start seeing those maps start changing colors in surrounding states or in our state, I think that's kind of my trigger to go get my flu shot. I hope this has been helpful and uh, really glad to help spread some good information for you guys going forward. Take care.